Welcome to Mansfield, Missouri, home of Laura Ingalls Wilder. And that's her house behind me. Let's go take a look. Well, we can actually just look at the outside. We can't look at the inside because um, no photos or videos are allowed. But I will take photos of the outside and probably sneak some pictures that are on the website in this video. So you'll see a little bit of it. Here we find ourselves in the Ozarks, not very far from Branson, Missouri, and we are heading to the farm where Laura Ingalls Wilder penned her famous children's book series, Little House on the Prairie. This video will give a tour of the grounds as well as a drone footage, so stay tuned for that and if you stay until the end, you'll see my very first official drone crash. Anyways, more than 30,000 people around the world visit here each year. Right now we are in the first building you see when you pull into the parking lot, which is the Visitor Center and Museum. And might I add, it has a very cool wind gauge. This is where you get your tour tickets, can buy some very cute and era time appropriate gifts and cute things at the gift shop, and explore the museum. They make it a good first stop on your journey here and, well, I guess you kind of have to stop here first to get your tickets. <laughs> But when you do, they nicely explain everything you need to know. So they give you a little bookmark, which is also your ticket, and it's $18 uh, to get in, which personally I think it's a little pricey for what it is. Uh, you know, I'd pay like 10 bucks. Like, if you flip back to my riverboat in Louisville, Kentucky, that was $10, and I think that was $10 well spent. But $18, I mean, unless you really, really love Laura Ingalls Wilder and the books. Um, and I dropped the price just a little bit. But then, I mean, it's cool. And then they give you like a little self-guided tour thing. Well, you can get it if you want to, but self-guided tour of uh, their Rocky Ridge farmhouse. And uh, yeah. I'm not doing the self-guided tours now, but rather going on their guided tours. At the visitor center, you also get these papers of information about tours and times. So at the very far end, this way, that is the actual museum and where you pay for your ticket and there's a little gift shop and stuff. And then behind me here is the Rocky Ridge Farmhouse, the white farmhouse, and then you go three quarters of a mile up past the ridge, and then that is the, um, their stone house. And I, I like that one. This one is definitely old and small, but it's very unique, and it just it screams Laura Ingalls Wilder because everything is like super short, and everything's super small. I like the staircase. When you go in there, look at the staircase after you leave the kitchen. That is the tiniest staircase I've ever seen in my life. And not like tiny, like short tinies, and like it's only like a foot wide. Very cool though. Yeah, let's take a tour and learn more about one of the great American pioneer authors and one of my favorite childhood um, book series to read. I didn't actually finish it all. I think I got to uh, the one with the horse on the front. No, I got to Farmer Boy. No, that was the second one. No, I read that one. Oh man, I'm gonna reread it. This stopping here makes me wanna reread it. Let's stop at the Rocky Ridge Farmhouse first. Now, like you saw before, I can't film inside of the homes, but I did record some audio of the awesome tour guides to give you a little insight into what the tour is like. But above the stove is one of the oldest, oldest artifacts we have here in the farmhouse. That is the Christmas clock that Laura wrote about in her book, The First Four Years. Almanza had traded a load of hay for that clock and gave it to Laura as a Christmas gift in 1886. So that makes the clock over 130 years old. This is the original linoleum. There isn't any kind of covering or seal on it. Um, the association has tried both of those um, methods and it actually did more damage to the floor than just having people walk on it. So you are walking on the same floor that Lori did. And this place was built specifically by and for them because Laura Ingalls was very short, only four foot 11, and Almanzo wasn't very tall either. They placed a $100 down payment on 40 acres on this rocky, undeveloped land. This home was their final home in Laura's long lifespan of moving. Now this house, Laura referred to as her dream house. It is a unique 10 room home. And one of the most memorable things to me about this house was that it started as basically a small one room cabin and had additions built on from it. However, when you see the real size of the cabin before the add-ons, you would wonder how one person could live there, let alone a small family of three. The entire room is probably smaller than some people's walk-in closets. Now let's walk on over to the Rock House on the Rocky Ridge Trail between the two homes. I'm on the trail between the two houses, their original house and then the Rock House. And I understand why they call it a uh, ridge path because it's very steep uh, to the Rock House, which is behind me right now. And then their old house is um, 
quite steep too but the middle part is a ridge and then like there's no wind and there's no wind and then when you're at the top of the ridge it gets windy and um but yeah so i'm walking between uh, the two houses right now they say the distance between the two houses is three quarters of a mile and the uh, paved path is quite nice and uh, the thing that i've noticed about this place is that like you know a lot of farms today you're trying to find different places that are nice and flat with a lot of ground to you know cultivate and this feels like it's drops down that way and it just goes up to a ridge there and I think it goes I don't know it looks like it goes back down but there's so many trees to like you know go around so it's very like a Missouri country rural place without much like cultivation of the land but I just toured both houses and uh, the old house is at the top of the hour and then the rock house is at uh, the bottom of the hour every 30 minutes just like that you leave the woods and you're to a ridge. Like I said, it's a steep hike. It's not, it's definitely not an easy, easy hike, but it's not a hard hike. Um, there's definitely little critters that run alongside. I've seen like little lizards. It's a nice hike if you're not trying to make it in a hurry. By the time you get done with one, you'll have to hurry, and I mean hurry, over to the other house if you want to see both. I recommend, after I hurried over, to slow it down and stop and see the chicken coop and other features and just casually walk over. Or, of course, it might be easier just to drive over. I think a lot of people chose the drive option when I was there. Either way, when you arrive at the other house, the rock house, one of the first things you might notice is the pretty view. Rose Wilder Lane, the Wilder's only daughter, was a successful author in her own right. In 1928, Rose had this house built with modern conveniences as a gift to her parents. This house, with its more modern conveniences, and in my 21st century opinion, is a way more comfortable house with a view. However, this wasn't Laura Ingalls Wilder's opinion, as they moved here from their Rocky Ridge farmhouse, but eventually moved back a little while later. Okay, now let's take a quick tour of the inside of the rock house. Alright, so this picture was taken in 1929, the year after the Wilders moved here. Uh, Rose had a friend that was a professional photographer, and he took pictures of all the rooms. Rose also bought brand new furniture to completely furnish the Rock House in 1928. Much of that furniture was bought from First Department Store in Springfield. Um, and uh, you can see some of that furniture here in the picture. The armchair and the sofa are now at the farmhouse. They moved back a lot of that furniture with them when they moved back. The drapes over the French doors are made to match the ones in the picture. They were made by the J.C. As we enter into the drone footage section of their Rocky Ridge farm tour, here's some interesting facts about the pioneer Laura Ingalls Wilder. Laura, her husband Almanzo, and their daughter Rose moved to Missouri from South Dakota in 1894. And the time it took to complete their Rocky Ridge farmhouse from a one-room cabin was 17 years. Laura wrote her first book when she was in her 60s. She had wrote articles prior to this in the Missouri Ruralist and other periodicals. Laura began teaching in rural schools at age 15. Born in Wisconsin, she lived in South Dakota, Kansas, Iowa, Minnesota, and Missouri, and Florida too. Their life wasn't all rosy and easy living. The family survived natural disasters, crop failures, the loss of a son, severe cases of diphtheria that left Almanzo with limited use of his legs, and a house fire that burned everything they owned. Okay, here's my drone footage failure. Yeah, I wasn't looking where it was going and went straight up into the tree and all the leaves and I heard it before I saw it and luckily it righted itself back upright and did not crash crash. It just chewed up oh, quite a few leaves and made some crazy noises. The drone survived, so all is well. Overall, this is a fun place to stop and get an insight into the author's life who grew children's imaginations with her books. If you're unable to actually add this to your travel itinerary, then definitely add it to your reading list. You won't be disappointed. It's a classic. Very cool insight into her life. And if you really like her books, definitely worth a stop. I think it's one of those things you really need to uh, know about Laura Ingalls Wilder before you get here. Because other than that, you'd be like, oh, okay, who is this four foot 11 lady? Side note, it's very hot here and uh, very humid. And uh, yeah, so it's a little bit windy. So my hair is probably sticking to my face, but you know, that's what you get in uh, July in Missouri. So anyway, if you're traveling through Missouri, looking for a day trip outside of Branson, Missouri, or just live here and feel like a nice trip down uh, a historical lane, come here. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all in the next video.